The scientific method is a series of steps that scientists or anyone can use in order to answer questions or solve problems. Today, we're going to talk about six steps of the scientific method. The first step is to make an observation. Step two is ask a question. Step three is the hypothesis. Four is experiment. Five is make your conclusion. And six is share your results. Keep in mind that these steps do not have to be performed in order, but it does have to make sense. So you couldn't do your experiment before you even ask a question or come up with your hypothesis. When you make an observation, you are going to use your five senses. Your five senses are sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. When we're doing experiments, we especially do not want to use the taste observation for anything that is unknown. Once you have made your observations, you're going to come up with a good, testable question. Since classroom resources are limited, this should be a question that you can answer by using whatever materials that you have in your classroom. Once you have come up with the question that you would like to test, you're going to need a possible explanation for what's going to happen in this experiment, and that is called our hypothesis. A hypothesis is usually written in an if then statement and it can also be written in an if then because statement so for example if i water the flower three times a day then it will grow taller than if i watered it two times a day i want you to keep in mind that your hypothesis does not have to be correct um, this is what you're going to test when you do your experiment. So if your hypothesis ends up being incorrect, then you will just go back and change it later on. So don't stress too much about this step of the scientific method. You are going to use your observations and any past experiences that you may have in order to make this hypothesis. After you have come up with your hypothesis, then it is time to experiment. Before you just dive right in, you need to be organized. Start by making a list of all the materials that you will need to do the experiment. Make sure you also list any safety precautions that need to be taken or safety equipment that may be needed, such as lab coat or goggles. Next, list all the steps the person needs to take in order to do the experiment. It is likely that the person doing your experiment has never done it before, so be very specific. Make sure you write down the data as you go and repeat the experiment at least three times. Take the time at the end to analyze your data for any numbers that look different from the rest. The conclusion is basically a summary of the results from your experiment. The conclusion tells whether your hypothesis is correct or not. If your hypothesis was correct, then write your conclusion and move on to share your results. If your hypothesis is incorrect, then you will need to go back change your hypothesis, and do your experiment all over again. Wow, you have finally made it to the last step of the scientific method. Once you have written your conclusion, then you will need to share your results with the world so others can repeat your experiment if they want. There are many ways to share the results. You will just need to choose the one that is right for you and the data that you have collected. A few examples on ways that you can share your results can include publishing it in books or scientific journals, or posting it online via video. No matter which way you decide to share your scientific research, it does need to be shared.